different scene in Paris, and this is the big question about what happens next outside the grocery store, because what we've let, let's listen in. Explosions about 400 meters in that direction, obviously from this kosher supermarket. Mark, uh, the police asking us uh, to move further back. We'll be moving there very shortly. Uh, Martin, what did we see? What do we hear? We heard four very quick explosions that lasted between them, I suppose, seven or eight seconds. Uh, we had just been moved back 20 minutes or so ago by the police, only 50 yards. That came just after news of uh, things going off at the first hostage situation in the north of France. There seemed to be a sense of urgency here amongst the police here. They moved us back 50 yards. There was an anticipation that perhaps what was going on at the first hostage If police did swarm the printing press outside of Paris because the man, the hostage taker inside the grocery store threatened that do something to the hostages if anything happened to his quote-unquote brothers who were holed up uh, in this printing plant. What we could surmise from this, and we still have to wait from details from French officials, is that there was some sort of coordinated effort by law enforcement. If those flashbangs are by police, John, but that's a big question, and we can't assume that right now because we do know that the hostage takers were heavily armed. Yeah, thought to have AK-47s uh, collapsed. Kalashnikov rifles. Let's listen in to the Sky News coverage of this ongoing situation in Paris. Be careful, everybody, as we move. I'm going to grab this bag. Just going to move. Hold on one second. We're just trying to move a little bit further forward as we're chatting to you. Right, Dave, let's go. So we're just going to take it a little bit more slowly. We've heard six explosions here at the scene of the second siege. We know that something like six hostages were being held inside. One other hostage had been seriously injured. We believe two gunmen were inside. Yes, a man.